On the air, idiots. On the air, idiots. I, I was on MySpace today. One of my quote unquote MySpace friends had a blog up on her page, right? Okay. And it caught my attention because it had the A word, abortion. Controversial word right there. So I went to the blog because I was curious. And I'm always looking for stuff for the show, of course. So she asks the question Should guys, should fellas, should males have a say in an abortion? Now, females are obviously the ones carrying, right? But wouldn't you agree that the guy helped make it? If you have the baby, then the guy has to take care of the baby. So isn't that kind of a catch 22 right there? Out of your idiot, should men have a say in an abortion? Because first of all, I'm not even for abortions, unless it's like a strange circumstance with like a rape or something like that. In which case, the female's got plenty of time to get to a clinic for a morning after pill. Secondly, if the guy is voicing his opinion because he doesn't feel like taking care of the baby, he should have thought about that before he put a condom on it. Oh, what, what if he's just not ready to be a father? Then he should have put a condom on it. What if it was an accident? There is no accident. What do you mean? Condom. No. On your idiots, should men have a say in abortion? My baby father told me that, you know what, I, sh I shouldn't have an abortion. And guess what? My son is eight years old. I've gone through cancer with my son. I've gone through chemo with my son. And this <laughs> hasn't been nowhere around. You let him have a say and it didn't work out, basically is what you're saying. Pretty much. I let him have a say. He told me don't have an abortion, but he hasn't seen my son in eight years. I got you. I got you. Well said. On your idiots, should men have a say in the abortion? I think that female has all the say just for the simple fact that a man can leave whenever he wants to. So even if he says, you know, keep the baby, like, I can keep the baby and he can leave five years later and I'm still stuck with the baby. Oh, that's a good point. It is a good point. That's a real good point right there. I don't have, they, don't have, they don't have a say. Not at all. This is so wow. I, I think it should be a discussion because it's going to affect both lives. Right. This should be a discussion. Does that happen? No. But it's going to affect both lives, so both parties involved right. should have some type of say in it. On your idiot, should men have a say in the abortion? Men, I agree. We should have a say in everything, but I'm going to keep it 100 with you, man. We, we can't even name the child that we want. You know what I mean? We can't even put our last name uh, on the seed if shorty don't want to. You know what I mean? Right. So what you're saying is the, the chick pretty much has... All the control. You know, I got two beautiful children. I wouldn't trade them for the world. They're the ones that motivate me, keep me focused. You know what I'm saying? Keep me in the right lane. At the same token, though, they're going to use that over you, man. That's the only thing they got over you. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. I, I, I can feel that. Right. On your idiots, should men have a say in the abortion? Guys want to say everything, and it's all because of them. And how so? Because they don't want nothing to do with everything. They just want to f*** Oh, come on. You 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 sound very scarred, honey. Yeah, I am. I see that. Exactly. I see that. You need to make a trip to Oprah. <laughs> this ain't the place. No. <laughs> on your idiots, should men have a say in the abortion? Uh, I think they should talk about it because that like it doesn't make sense because if y'all like broke, if y'all have a job for the kid to support the kid, I think y'all should talk about it. But if y'all are grown enough to sit there and make a baby, y'all need to be grown enough to take care of the baby. All right, all right, well said. On air, idiots, should men have a say in the abortion? Definitely, yeah. Because she wasn't complaining when them legs was up, you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's about <laughs> the responsibility of a man. Right. If I'm willing to take it there, then of course you're going to handle that. Right. That's just important. It's just, there's too many deadbeats out there, so them deadbeats, you know, they mess it up for any other guy. You know, so it's, it's a both responsibility. It goes 50-50. It, it can't argue that. Right, right. And I, I like his point is that there are some dudes out there that aren't ready, and they get real bummy on the situation, and they bounce on the girl and the baby. Yep. And that's basically ruining this topic, sort of, in a way. And my point, that I feel like the guy should have a say. So the dudes that are running out are ruining it for the good dude. I mean, at, at the end of the day, I mean, it, you did an adult thing and laid down together, so be an adult all the way through it. I agree. On here, idiots, should men have a say in the abortion? Yeah, I think men should have a say, but I got a question, though. Yeah. Like, all right, what happens if a, a chick, you're supposed to get up with a chick, right? Uh-huh. And she call you up. This like this chick I know, like, she likes to drink a lot. Mm -hmm. So she came over or whatever, and she drunk. 
and you know we get doing whatever, whatever. And I put on the condom, but she's mad bent, so mm. she just falls asleep. Mm. And you lay in there for like fifteen, twenty minutes, so you don't think nothing's gonna happen. You think she she drunk, so you think she falling asleep. Ain't nothing gonna happen. So you end up taking it off, and five minutes later, Shorty drop jump right back on me. You know. I mean that is an accident. Shorty said there's no accident. You know, you know your your little story here, and I'm assuming you're talking about yourself. Yep. All right, no doubt. You bring up a point because it doesn't always fall on the guy. Exactly. Girls, girls get loose too. Exactly. And they get it in the back of the head, like ah, uh, it's all good, it's okay. And I did put it on. It's not like I was like, yeah, you know, I did. It's just she fell asleep for 10, 15 minutes. So you want me to do a fall asleep with a condom on? Right. Right, right. No, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. And I'm telling you right now, ladies, stop lying to yourself. The chick that called up earlier that was talking about there is not my sex, put a condom on, blah, 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 blah. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. Some females are real careless. When it comes to making sure the guy does use a condom. Yeah, because he's not the only one responsible for that situation in that room. That's right. Just because he has to use it on him doesn't mean that it's all 100% his responsibility. Yeah. On here, it is. Should men have a say in the abortion? Yes, I think there's a couple of situations. I think if they're teenagers, they have more leeway for an option between the two of them to abort or not because they're so young. Mm -hmm. I also think that if there's love involved in the relationship, you should listen to his opinion. But it doesn't always work out for you. I've lived through that twice. Once he was across the country and didn't do much for his daughter. And the second time, he's been in, in lockdown and has yet to come out and do for her yet. Right, right. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Good opinion. On here, idiot, should men have a say in the abortion? Hey, yo, absolutely, absolutely. Yo, k Doug. Yeah. All right, now listen. I just got finished kicking it with my man and his wife, but they can't have children, all right? Now, my man, back in the day, while he was still dealing with this chick he married to now, he got some little shorty pregnant. The chick I'm with now, who I got a child with, brought this chick to get the abortion, now he can't have no kids. His wife is salty right now. She mad at me, telling me this, that, and the third. Men, take care of your seeds because you never know what can happen. It's a beautiful, beautiful... So, so you're saying that if he didn't agree on that abortion back in the day, he'd have a kid right now? Me personally, I feel like kids are a blessing, so... Right? So did we come to any sort of conclusion? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. To each his own. Yeah. I think this was very 50-50. Obviously, the fellas are calling up here and, and, and saying that they should have a say. And a lot of the females are saying, no, he shouldn't have a say. Yeah. But I'm going to keep it 100% with the females listening right now. Most of you that called in are very salty. Mm. Something has happened to you. Mm. Or maybe the guy ran out on you. Mm. And that made you salty to basically this topic of discussion. Wow. So you calling them out, huh? How many times do we get scarred females calling up here anyway? Oh, it's all the time, B. Oh, my goodness. Seal Island. Bottom line is, I, I, I guess, ladies, you got to make a judgment call. If a guy gets you pregnant, you have to ask yourself, is he a good dude? Now, let's not forget something. Let's not forget something. New oh. Year's Confessions, the topic we did a month ago. Oh. Shorty called up here oh. and said she faked the abortion oh. to get $600 from yes, her boyfriend. Yes, yes, yes. With that said, ladies, you have no right to talk at all. In fact, stop calling. Wow. Call back tomorrow morning. Someone will be on to take your calls. On your idiots. On your idiots. On your idiots. On your idiots. On your idiots.